to fetch API in Nux3, all you need is this. Well, this, you have the fetch plugin that comes with Nux, and then you have this API users register. So where this is going for me, you see here, you, you have the server folder, you have the API folder inside the server, then you have this users endpoint. And so register will go here, register post. It's a post request and this only accept post requests. You don't need to put this here, but it does help because Nux will take care of the method for you. And login is the same way we're sending a post request API login and that goes right there. And this looks like this. This is a, it's a little bit more complex here, but this is just uh, an app where I teach um, people how, how to write authenticated Nux3 app. But let's look at the whole thing, right? If we want to look at all things here, um, I'm going to go to this, this app here. So here, Pretty much the same layout was sending data to API IM users here and in the server it's right here API IM users but this is a more complex a API so I I'm using a catch-all route here now if you want to learn how to fetch right if you if it's a get request all you need is just this so you don't even need the headers here all you need really I'm gonna get rid of this oopsie is that you don't need this await unless you're sending to a place that requires uh, it returns a promise but this is all you need fetch this is a get request in Nox 3 and what if you wanted to send a post request here we're getting users here we're creating a user and all you need is this. You have the method post. You need this method post to tell Nux that you're sending data to the API. If you need headers, they look like that. If you need a body, it's going to look like that. And the body is an object, which looks like this in our case. All right. Put for updating requests. Is, this is all you need. Method put. And then method delete for deleting request and that's empty deleting the user and that's it if you want to learn how to how authentication works in nux3 click the link below i have this app that i um i teach people i'll teach you how to create authenticated nux3 applications right and it's real sweet it's going to look like this we're going to start from scratch and i'm going to show you exactly how I did this. You can be able to to register and log in. For example, I see I registered Matt here. If the password is wrong, it's gonna tell you, "Hey, invalid login." But but if you want to learn that to success, and you can log in and see all this stuff. And it's uh, so just click the link below, and I'll take you to the tutorial. You can log out if you try to. Go back, you can't. All right, I'll see you in the next video.